the latest on a deaf man who was shot and killed by an Oklahoma City police officer, All Times local surveillance video shows a hit-and-run crash between two vehicles that led to the fatal shooting of a deaf man by an Oklahoma City police officer. The crash happened Tuesday night, just minutes before police officers encountered 35-year-old Magdiel Sanchez at the address where a vehicle driven by his father that was involved in the hit-and-run had gone. Sanchez, who family members say was deaf, was holding a metal pipe in his right hand and was fatally shot when he didn't respond to commands to drop the pipe. The surveillance video obtained by Coco News 5 shows a collision between a pickup truck and another vehicle. The pickup is struck in the side and rolls over before coming to rest on its wheels. The car that struck the pickup continues on without stopping. A spokesman for the family of a deaf man who was fatally shot by an Oklahoma City police officer says they have hired an attorney who also represented the family of a black man who was killed by a white Tulsa police officer. The spokesman, Julio Reyes, told the Associated Press on Thursday that the family of 35-year-old Magdiel Sanchez has hired Melvin C. Hall.The website for the Oklahoma City Attorney's Law Firm says he specializes in employment law and civil rights cases. Hall also represented the family of 40-year-old Terrence Crutcher, who was fatally shot in September 2016 by Tulsa police officer Betty Jo Shelby after she encountered the unarmed men in a roadway. Shelby was acquitted of first-degree manslaughter in Crutcher's death. Crutcher's family has filed a lawsuit over his death. The police chief of Oklahoma City says he plans to meet with advocates for the hearing and speech impaired following the fatal shooting of a deaf man. Police Chief Bill City said Thursday that the fatal shooting of 35-year-old Magdiel Sanchez has raised a lot of concerns about training for officer interaction with people who have hearing or speech problems. City says officers who responded to a hit-and-run accident Tuesday night encountered Sanchez holding a metal pipe in his right hand. City says Sanchez didn't respond to commands to drop the pipe and was fatally shot. Officials say witnesses yelled, he can't hear you, before the officers fired, but they didn't hear them.